and welcome to this paint pour. I'm so glad that you're here with us. I'm here with my friend Mardell, and we are going to do a negative space dirty cup whip cup drag. Do you want to say hello, Mardell? Hello. <laughs> okay, so we're both going to have our cups, and we're going to start our dirty cup um, filling right now, basically. So I'm going to start off with, with this one. Which one are you going to start with? Um, I'll start with this one. All right. So as explained to Mardell before the camera went on, that whatever color you put in first ends up being the color that sits on the canvas um, sort of last. And so it's going to be the color that shows up the most, supposedly. <laughs> Theoretically. Oh, I took the one you wanted next. No worries, I took the one you wanted next, I think. Is that enough, or do I need a little bit more? No, that's good. Okay, perfect. So we're going to try to do each of these colors twice in our cup. So we're just putting a little tiny layer of each one in at a time. And so mixed into these cups um, is paint and Floetrol. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> paint and Floetrol and a little bit of soapy dishwater. And the soapy dishwater is what creates a few cells. And if I didn't want to use soapy dishwater, I could have used silicone, which I find makes a lot of cells and maybe maybe a little too many for my liking. So, so now I'm going to go ahead. Yep, go ahead and do a second layer of all of those same colors. Oh, which one did I put next now? It doesn't really matter. But I think I'm going to do this one. Oops, there we go. And then I could do that. So I would call this is basically got gold, rust, navy blue, and sky blue. And it's funny that they can be such contrasting colors and actually make a really nice painting. So I'm hoping. Oh, I'm winding with way more in my cup than you did. <laughs> it's better to have too much than not enough, so that's fine. Okay. okay, so I think we're good um, there. Yeah, unless you want to do one more there. And then we'll do the next step, which is um, the flip cup part. So this is our dirty cup, and we're going to pick up our little canvas. Check to put this back. Sure. Yeah. And then we're just going to flip the cup, and so we can actually um, hold the canvas to the cup and flip it just like that, and leave it on there. Let all that gooey paint pour out. Okay, without spilling. Yeah. Yeah, and then it gives it some time to all fall into the canvas because it can get stuck inside the cup. And I'm just going to straighten that a bit for the camera's sake. Um, and then this is a negative uh, pour. So what we do for the negative space is we put a really light contrasting color around all the edges right now before we lift up that cup. And then when we lift up the cup, the paint will blend with this layer. So I'm gonna to try to see if that's enough for me. I'm gonna go get another stick and spread that around. Oops, am I doing too much? Nope. Switch handles. <laughs> I'm so messy. I know, I, I also do landscape paintings and I was always so pl proud of myself that for years I was painting in a bedroom with carpet and uh, I never spilled any paint, and I just was so neat and tidy, and never had paint on my hands or my clothes. And then when I started doing paint pours, oh my gosh, the room that I was painting in has colors all over the carpet. <laughs> my clothes, almost every single thing I wear has some kind of paint spilled on it. <laughs> my hands are always painty. And I, I don't even know if I pour anything on there. I'm uh, messy when it comes to cooking too, so yeah, it doesn't matter what I do. Messy, always yeah. wear the messy clothes. <laughs> oh, like, so just kind of, I see what you're doing. You're just kind yeah, of like walking just, it on the edges. Yeah. Oh, I just look at me. <laughs> I just don't. I get so mad at myself. Like, I just can't believe it when I do it again. Like, you know, when I actually, like, pour oh. it. The other day, I poured, I don't know, probably half a cup worth on this new flooring oh, here. No. And I was like, oh, I can't believe it. Is it fairly washable or not? Yeah, really? it is, oh, actually. It's good. just laminate. Like, we could have done real wood, but I was like, you know what? Oh, yeah, that might not. I'm going to be spilling paint. 
And this washes off nicely. I can't believe you painted with carpet. I can't brush my teeth with carpet. <laughs> I know, now I have to go and replace all the carpet in that room. Because <laughs> my, because Mitchell, our youngest, wanted to move in to that room. Should I get it all? I think so, I don't know. Good. Okay, so now we get to do the fun part. I'll do mine first and then you can do, what I've been doing is like di diagonal to diagonal and that's how those other ones I showed you okay. um, were made. But this one, I think I'm just gonna, I don't know, make a weird like amoeba shape or something. And not do diagonal for once in my life. So you're really trying to like let some of the edges stay um, with that light blue color. Oh, I like so light blue on top. Yours. Oh, oh. oh, I might have put too much blue on top. Oh no, there it goes. And it's funny, right at first it's like, oh, that doesn't look very nice. But what, when we let it settle, something cool is going to happen for us. Fire. Yes. Yeah, so this is my torch, and all I'm going to do is. But that's the safety there thing. Like I said, I pulled, I pulled that down already, and now okay. I'm just gonna hold on to this bit, and then not hold it very close to the canvas at all, just so I can see when I, if I see things popping, that's close enough. But if I went too close, you could actually melt the paint or burn it, and it'll, it'll like rise up, smoke will rise up, and you'll be inhaling that, which is probably okay. horrible for you. <laughs> so these cells are quite small, considering I didn't use silicone. That's weird. And so if you want to give that a try. So this right. down? Yep, that goes oh, down and then pull that in, yeah. Oh, I'm going to actually hold it in. Yeah. There we go. Like you told me. Yeah, I think I like yours better so far. I just... Mine's too busy at this point, but what I can do to fix mine is I can stretch the paint around by tipping it. You can go a little Aren't closer. Going? Oh, okay. Yeah. Lighting things on fire is a yeah. family specialty, is so that I don't right? want to... Yeah. <laughs> So maybe another inch closer. Okay. And maybe even more like on top of, yeah, like that. Another inch closer. There you go. Oh, look at that. Cool. Yeah. Oh, the torching part's the best. Yeah, isn't it fun? Yeah. <laughs> and then mine's kind of settling in kind of interesting, but I'm still going to do it because... Am I torched enough or should I keep yeah, going? I think you're torched enough. And then if you want, if you love that, you can leave it and you're done. Or if you want to play a bit, you can do what I'm doing. Twist it around a little bit. Yeah. I want to try that. I really love stretch cells because it doesn't look like obviously Ooh, I like, like that. Okay. I like, like that part. How do I keep that part? I guess I go this way. That's the trick. He's like, oh, I like this, but I don't like that. And so to, to tip it, to, to save one and not to, <laughs> and to lose the other is like so tricky. Oh wow, mine's starting to look like oh, lizard skin cool, or something. Yeah. Whoa, they're quite different, hey? That's amazing. You know, considering we use the exact same, same color. Paint, it's the mm -hmm. Same color. I don't want to lose all the Oh I love it. And yours just has such depth because of this white chunk right here. And you can tell like, it looks like something's under there, but you're not quite sure what it is. So it just it looks like um, you know, something's in front of it, uh, like 3D. Like mine just looks flat. You've got like bigger. I like the bigger. Oh, they're so, so cool. cool. I love this method. This is like the best method ever. Let's see, maybe I'll try tipping it just because. I know. This is the, the part where it's like, don't overdo, don't overdo. No, I don't think I want to. I think that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I think if I do it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss the negative space, which was the whole point of it. Yes, I know. That's sort of what I, what I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm, and you know what? Maybe what I should remember when I do this again is use much, like, a, like we, we put two layers Mm -hmm. Like try not to get past halfway on this cup, maybe. You know what I mean with our I did, layers. I had twice as much paint as you, so maybe that's oh, well, that. You know when we when we oh, poured it out, okay. maybe that's why yeah. the difference. But I like I like yours for sure. Uh, what else did I want to say? Um, oh, I just wanted to mention that it's really neat to get these. These are four by four inch canvases, and to check out your colors, you know, see if you like your color combinations, and then if you want, then you can get a big canvas mm -hmm. and do the same thing, and. Uh, and really have a nice piece of art. Okay, so I think that we're gonna stop there and we'll show you what they look like when they dry. So I'm just gonna come closer in so that you can see these edges and see it without any of the glare. And we're noticing that the cells are still kind of perfecting and doing cool things. We really like what it does around the edges. What were you just saying about the the cells? Well, it looked like they're still moving a little bit, like the paint is still seems to be moving and settling yeah. over time. Yeah. 
And it just looks so good glossy, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like the rust glossy. It looks like almost like bronze. Yeah, almost like metal, yeah. And it also, like I said before, it reminds me of like a lizard skin for some reason, <laughs> a chameleon or something. So, so pretty.